this video I'm going to show you how to set the lathe up to cut this Cat 40 taper on our Cat 40 project. So the first thing we want to do is to see what taper we need. It looks like the drawing says about three and a half inches per foot. So we're going to take 3.5 divided by 12 to find out how much it is per inch. Divide that by two because we're only working on one half uh, of the, the part. Then we're going to divide that by two. That way we can find out what it is per half inch. Five revolutions of the indicator should be about 73 thousandths. So what we're going to do, we're going to set our machine up like this. We've got an indicator on the compound rest. Compound rest is setting at about eight and a half degrees. If you can look right here, you can see it's roughly eight and a half degrees. You probably can't see it on the video. But we've got an indicator set here on, on our work. Our work is straight. And then we've got another indicator in a straight line movement from the, the compound. So when the compound moves straight, not at an angle, but when it moves straight, in five revolutions, we should have 73 thousandths on this indicator here. So I'll run it through the motions and let you see what we do. We go one round, two rounds, three rounds, four rounds, and then when we get to five rounds, we're right about 73 thousandths there. And that'll get us right on the money because we are gonna put it on the OD grinder in the back and clean that up. So this is how we're gonna set the machine up to cut this Cat 40 taper on our tool, uh, Cat 40 tool holder. Now, we're gonna do, obviously we're gonna do this in first. We wanna machine all of this first. Uh, we'll machine this diameter of two and a half, this diameter, put the 45 on it, and we've got a tool to cut that groove in there. Then when we do that, then we're going to flip it around and hold it by the nose, preferably in a four jaw so we can keep everything true and we can indicate off this. Then we're going to come back, turn this diameter here. Uh, once we turn that diameter, then we're going to set it up for the taper and we'll cut that taper with the tool on the back side. So I'll set it up to show you what it looks like with the tool on the back side when we're ready to cut this. Now this is how we're going to have the tool holder, the tool, everything set up to cut this taper on the Cap 40 tool holder. So our cross slide is all the way maxed out as far as it will go. We've got our compound set about eight and a half degrees. We just checked it to make sure it was 73 thousandths per half inch of movement. Um, so now we're going to cut the taper, but we're going to have the tool set up just about like this. We're going to run the machine backwards. Don't forget, it's, got, it's not going to come this way. It's going to go backwards. We're going to cut on the back side. Uh, but unfortunately, we're going to have to be doing a lot of cranking like this. So you can see it moving in and out right here. So this is how we're gonna cut that taper on it. So I'll leave this machine set up for you. I'll do you a big favor. So you'll have the tool post set about like this. We may have to move it around and if we get too close in here. It's not a big deal. We can, we can finagle this tool post around because we just wanna cut on this back side and we're not cutting very long, very far. But that's how we're gonna cut this taper on this. Okay, so this is how the setup is going to look. After we get it already indicated in, we'll cut that. Once we do that, then we'll be ready to put it on the grinder and finish uh, grinding it to size.